agitated Nutch filter dryer, is designed to filter large amounts of slurry under pressure or vacuum, and to dry wet cake under vacuum only. It ensures clean and fast filtration. First of all, carry out the leveling of the ground, across the length and width with respect to the horizontal plane. Agitated Nutch filter dryer does not require an extensive foundation. It can rest on its legs. Carefully install the agitator shaft with, bellow and mechanical seal. Make sure that it is aligned in center, otherwise it may lead to damage and can cause, off-center rotation of agitator blade. The reliability and long life of the equipment, depends on careful installation and leveling. Agitator blades clockwise rotation is 2, stir and cut, and an anti-clockwise rotation is 2, press and squeeze. Make sure it is not touching the walls while rotation. And then goes the assembly of lantern. Make sure the gearbox is filled with oil, SAE 320, or, equivalent up to the level marked. The gearbox supplied is normally filled to the brim. Mount the assembly on the NFD. A rotary joint, is used to transfer fluid under pressure, inside the agitator blade and shaft. Installing the hydraulic cylinders, for bottom bed movement. And then comes the bottom bed assembly, it consists of the filter plate. Filter cloth. straight and curved segments, which are for holding the filter cloth. Connect the bottom bed, with the pistons.
dust catcher. It consists of filter cloth and a frame to support the filter cloth. Connect all the cylinders with the manifold. For each cylinder line, notations are provided on the manifold. While carrying out piping work, see that welding spatters do not enter in the vessel, because it may burn the filter cloth. The hydraulic power pack, is the most important part of the equipment, which operates your up-down motion, and discharge valves open close functions. The purchaser is requested to procure and fill the hydraulic system with hydraulic oil, and fill the reservoir up to level marked. Connect the pipelines from the manifold to power pack. Install the electrical panel. And connect the wires of agitator motor. The cable should be long enough, and flexible to allow the agitator to travel up and down. Connect the cable wires of solenoid valves, power pack motor, and control panels to electrical panel. While closing the bed, make sure that the clearance between, the blade and filter cloth is done to 15 mm. The bayonet ring is used to lock the bottom bed. While closing the bayonet ring, the teeth of the ring and bottom bed body flange should be in line one after the other, to ensure smooth locking of bayonet ring. Check all the hydraulic cylinders operations, of bottom bed movement, agitator up-down movement. Discharge valve open close movement. Your ANFD working pressure is stamped on the nameplate. See that proper gauges and safety valve are installed.